Dom here from Essential RC, thanks for tuning in for another flight test. Of all the flight tests we do, I do really enjoy some of the quirky stuff that we are sent to flight test. And this, this is up there near the top, if not the, the top. Uh, this is the Metafly remote controlled flying creature from uh, the guys at Bionic Bird. So they contacted me and asked me if I'd like to uh, try this out based on some of the other things that we've been flapping wings, things that we've been reviewing recently. So this is an ornithopter again, and uh, which means that it sustains flight by flapping its wings. So on the back of the box here it says um, has a wireless range of 100 metres. 100 metres is a long way. Uh, but that it will fly indoors easily in a confined space I, that would be surprising but they say yes yeah, seriously it will it's got a wingspan of 29 centimeters so this is quite small and uh, quite and very light so it might be agile enough to do that but speeds of up to 18 kilometers an hour 11 miles per hour uh, charge in 12 minutes that's quite impressive because most of the ready to fly things that we get take about an hour to charge up. So 12 minutes is, is good. It's crash proof. It's uh, got elastic helmet, legs and wings. Uh, can take off from the ground and land as in nature. All right, so what we've got here is the upgrade kit. So uh, it looks like uh, it comes with the one wing set special edition very colourful, like a dragonfly really, and a power bank and a charge device. All right, really interesting. So let's um, take this out of the box. Let's see what we get. Here we go, these are all the components out of the box. So this is the controller, two joysticks and an on off button. I'm guessing that is the recharge port. That we'll connect to. Put that to one side and then this is the actual Metafly itself. The body that we're going to connect the wings onto and the tail I guess. Uh, we've got a, it looks to be a charge lead I think that connects to the power bank that will charge off the mains supply and then we've got some um, these go on the ends of the sticks the ends of the joysticks I think so uh, we've also got an instruction manual if we want to read how to put this together and fly it they give us a little uh, sheet with a QR code so that we can go and watch some videos how to do that same thing uh, what's this Oh, we need to bind the controller to the Metafly. We, okay, that's good to know. And also a bit of a warning about how to attach, how to hold the Metafly when you're attaching and disconnecting the wings. All right, so a little bit of reading to do and then I'll assemble that. It gives a little, a few tips if there are any and then we'll fly this for the first time. So my first bit of advice is to hold the Metafly here by the motor and then the first step is to install these two wire legs. You need to loosen these two small screws and they are tiny but they do provide this really good screwdriver so just loosen them you don't, shouldn't need to take out the screws and then these two wire legs have hooks around them. Hook the wire underneath those two screws and then tighten them up making sure the wire stays underneath. Okay next step we're going to install the tail and we need to click it into that recess there. So taking the tail you need to know which is the printed and the unprinted side should be fairly obvious and with the 
un the non-printed side up. Slide it into that recess. Make sure you're holding it low down there, and you should hear it click into position. Then we need to move it over the top. And you'll see that it should stay in that recess, clicked into that recess. And then you'll see that you can now adjust its angle. Next we're going to attach the wings. There are two connection points for each wing. So the, there's a hole in the fabric in the back of each wing and this arm here on each side pushes through that hole and then the front rib or wing bone as they, I think they refer to it goes into this socket here. So let's do that. So that's the back of the wing on that arm and then the front of the wing and it should click in like that So you see what I did there, you press it on and then give it a wiggle, kind of helps it over that. And again, trying to hold it by the motor and hold it as close as possible on the, the wing bone. Push it into that socket. Okay, so next we're going to install the rudder. Flip the Metafly upside down. And you will see that there is this uh, post with two bits of wire either side. Those bits of wire control the rudder. What we need to make sure is when we press the rudder socket on to that post that these two wires stay outside of the rudder. So you can see that socket there. So, not easy. The way to do it is to hold it over to one side, hold it on, but not press too firm, just hold it on there, and then the other, the other way, and try and get it between those two pieces of wire, and then support it from behind with your finger like that, and then press it on firmly so that you don't damage anything. And there we are. 
that is the completed Metafly. So now we need to charge it up, which we do, which we do by pushing it onto the transmitter after we've charged up that power bank, and then we can fly it for the first time. Okay, so here we are, we're gonna outside. Pretty good conditions today, very, very little wind, which is ideal, although they do say you could fly the Metafly in a, about eight mile an hour wind. So that's, I know, that's a quite nice breeze be interesting to see. So it's, it's really important to read the little manual actually before you fly it for the first time. The tail position is important um, so you need to read guidance on that. If you're inside they recommend uh, positions four or five which I think it's in position five at the moment. We're outside so we're going to put it in position three. So it should fly quicker by virtue of that. Um, what other what else to mention um lateral balance is important as well now we won't know if it's balanced until we fly it really but uh if it was going that way then what you can do is change the position of these little weights on the wing wings to trim it out to try and get it to fly level charging up there are three ways so you can charge it up from the mains uh, uh, on a, using a USB adapter uh, with that USB lead and plugging into that end of the USB lead. You can use the charge, uh, the power bank, sorry, that little battery there. So that's useful if you're out and about. Or uh, the last method is that you can charge it off the, the transmitter as well basically off the double a's that you've put in there that's probably the option that you don't want to go for charge up the power bank and you'll get quite a few charges out of that so that being said i think we just need to fly it try flying it for the first time harry's on camera you ready harry ready you ready okay so um Turn on the transmitter. There's a switch on top. Then we've got the directional joystick on the right and the power joystick on the left. Let's give this a go. Now, the thing I suspect we need to do is bind the transmitter to the to the metaphor so we'll read the instructions and we'll do that all right so uh, initially it didn't work and uh, read the manual it did the automatic binding didn't work so I had to go into manual binding which is easy you turn both of these off you power on the transmitter while holding the right stick to the right blue lights flashing fast and then you turn on the metafly and then it should be bound and we should be ready to go and we are it's uh, we've got a solid led light on the metafly so all right yep here we go so attempt number two. Oh. <laughs> now one thing they do say about this is that it's very durable which is probably just as well Interesting on the sticks, we will persevere. I'm getting there. <laughs> Woo! That's 
much better, isn't it? Third attempt. Ooh. <laughs> it's like anything, there's just a bit of a knack to how you fly it, and it's it's not using full power all the time. You've used two half power to two thirds power. an interesting thing. Apparently you can take off from the ground. So Harry, do you want to come over here? See if it will take off from the ground. Ready? Yes! Oh. <laughs> Did I get you Harry? A little bit. Definite knack to how, how you fly and after two or three attempts you'll get your head around it quite quite clever Super light little thing, but there's a little bit of a breeze and it copes with it quite well But great fun. So that's the the Metafly. I'll put the link in the video description and the pinned comment as you've seen from the Assembly part of the video. It's, it's not too difficult to put together if uh, if you've got a little bit of patience and follow the instructions. But uh, otherwise, thanks for watching this Essential RC Flight Test. Thanks to Harry on video. You might want to subscribe and click on the bell icon for notifications of our future uploads and live streams. But thanks for watching this one, it was a lot of fun. And we'll see you soon. Yes. <laughs>